what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we shall discuss how to give up bad habits how to deal with bad habits what to do at all with these bad habits oh my god i have this bad habit i have that bad habit so many bad habits <laughs> all right so many people had requested me for this video and now finally it's out so now here i will be uh, speaking in general about uh, approaching bad habits something which people do not talk about much in general yes i mean apart from the things which people talk about in their videos and specifically each and every bad habit that i'll be dealing separately in some other video all right so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and before i begin and i think today i must say <laughs> that god is there with you all the time just look to him and he must come otherwise we cannot get rid of these bad habits all right so now the scriptures say that the bad habits are like prostitutes should i repeat the bad habits are like prostitutes what is the primary trait of a prostitute the prostitute he or she whoever it is the prostitute will only stay with another person if the person is giving money right <laughs> which means the moment you stop giving things to the prostitute the prostitute will go away from you yes which means that if bad habits understand that i cannot stay here then they will leave you which means instead of trying to give up bad habits should i repeat instead of trying to give up bad habits we have to become somebody who these bad habits do not like should i repeat once again instead of giving up bad habits we have to become somebody who these bad habits do not like yes then these bad habits will automatically leave us <laughs> other question is how to become them yes how to become somebody which uh, the bad habits uh, do not like how to become somebody the answer is very simple increase the sattva guna inside your body see bad habits generally come from two modes yes there are three modes as we all know sattva gun rajogun and tamogun mode of goodness mode of passion and ignorance now majority of the bad habits they are under the rajogun and tamogun yes rajogun has what sexuality obsess obsession with sex or the opposite sex or talking about the opposite sex or describing the uh, Uh, physical parts or the private parts of the opposite sex talking about love romance relationship it's a lot of rajas there a lot of passion there seeing sensual things watching pornography watching things like game of thrones all those things come under rajas yes and then tamas is what tamas is smoking drinking yes alcohol drugs it's like you are sinking so low so majority and yes sleep also <laughs> sleep more that which is more than uh, necessary yes that also comes under uh, tamas yes and eating uh, too many too much uh, rajasic food all this is under the mode of passion or eating those things which are rotten or spoiled yes eating going and eating fast food going and eating too much in the hotels all these are under tamas and eating food which is too spicy or which is too much uh, it's too rich i mean way 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 rich then it is required eating eating too many sweet things chocolates probably <laughs> all these comes under rajas and tamas yes of course mode of goodness also has some bad habits but th th those are not very uh, important those are not very prominent because hardly people are in the mode of goodness yes so when we increase the sattva gun inside our life then automatically the bad habits will not stay there because they are like prostitutes who is the best example surpanakha from ramayana is the perfect example yes <laughs> you will not get any other example better than surpanakha here who was surpanakha surpanakha was the daughter of ravan right no no she was the sister <laughs> so this lady divine uh, rakshasi she was a demon so this surpanakha what she had done was once she had gone for outing basically and then she saw lord ram lord ram was staying in the forest with sita and with lakshman and then this surpanakha she was totally amazed 
by seeing Lord Ram. <laughs> she was completely flat. She was clean bold. I mean, of course, it's not her fault because Lord Ram is the most handsome man to ever live. So anybody will fall flat. So it's not her mistake in one way. <laughs> Because the Srimad Bhagavatam says, yes, Lord Ram uh, looked like green color. My God, imagine. Krishna looks like uh, that Sham Varana is this, you know, that cloud which is just about to rain. Yes. And Lord Ram is green in color. Imagine how beautiful he would be. <laughs> so it's not Sutnaka's fault, actually. It's Lord Ram's fault. I know that. <laughs> okay. So Sutnaka, when she saw Lord Ram, she was totally captivated. And then what happened? She went and said to him that, Oh, you're so amazing. And she changed her form also. She was a very ugly, crooked looking demoness. She f- changed her form into divine lady. Yes. So bad habits also come in the garb of Sutnaka sometimes. Not sometimes, all the times basically. What they will say? Oh, indulge in this. Na? Have fun. Enjoy. And then, see, when the habit word, if you take... H A B I T, then you remove the H, then a bit remains. Yes, then you remove the A, then bit remains. Then you remove the B, it remains. So the habit still remains because it is still remaining the word I T. So which means that the bad habits will come in the garb of Supnaka. Yes, which means initially they will appear as if, oh, that's very good, it's very nice. Yes. Oh, maybe I am uh, going on with this girl. Oh, we can enjoy. What's the problem, right? We can indulge in illicit sex. That's that, that's fine. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Or we can smoke cigarettes. Yes. As they say, na, ek phukoge to kuch nahi hoga. <laughs> but everybody knows whoever has smoke uh, has smoke. Uh, the ones whoever has indulged in that smoking cigarette, that's it. End of the story. <laughs> now, I you know there are many people who will write in the comments that, oh, you are wrong. I smoke only once in a week. I smoke once in two weeks. I smoke once in a month. I'm not addicted. Well, you can write whatever you want. But what I'm saying is, bad habits come the way Supna had come. They will appear as if they are very lucrative. They will give you a lot of happiness. Yes. But they always have an ulterior motive. Which means that, we should not entertain them. See, because the yogi doesn't see what's there on the surface. The yogi sees what is beyond. The yogi sees the future. Future doesn't mean astrology. <laughs> the yogi sees six months ahead. The yogi sees, oh, today I am smoking this cigarette. Maybe I am becoming happy. But tomorrow what will happen? I will get depressed. I will get depressed. I will be suppressed. <laughs> and then I will become helpless. I will become a slave to this habit. So the yogi doesn't delight in sinful sense enjoyment. Yes. The yogi understands that this will not give me fulfillment in the long run. That is why the yogi abstains. So that means when Sutnaka, uh, she was a very, a very ugly looking demon. But she changed her form. So be aware of those Sutnaka type of habits. Yes. Which say, oh, now you can enjoy. Because they say, no, sins are like credit cards. You enjoy now, you pay later. So, I repeat, sins are like credit cards. You enjoy now, you pay later. Yes. So, always understand that they will not bring you fulfillment in the long run. Yes. They will never, ever, ever bring you fulfillment, happiness in the long run. They will always degrade you. So, then what happened? Sutnaka, when she came, then Lord Ram said, oh, I am already married to Sita. I cannot marry you. <laughs> but if you uh, want, you can marry my brother Lakshman. Yes. I mean, Lord Ram also knows how to deal with it. <laughs> <coughs> then, Sutnaka sees Lakshman and she's like, wow, look at him, man. He's no less. Because her behavior was like a prostitute. Which means, oh, if not Ram, Lakshman is also equal handsome. Let me take Lakshman. <laughs> So, by seeing the externals, she always used to uh, fear, be captivated and then she used to run behind men like this. The way she was running behind uh, Ram and Lakshman. And then Lakshman said, oh, if you marry me, then you will become a servant, a slave 
to Sita and Ram, then you will only have to serve them. I will always not enjoy with you. But if Ram marries you, then I will serve you as the queen. Yes, so it's good for you that you go to Ram. And then Supnaga again goes to Ram. She's like, "Oh, Ram, you please marry me now." <laughs> yes, so that's the typical behavior of a prostitute, which means that when the bad habits do not get space to stay inside you, they will automatically leave you. Yes. Now, how do you do that? The answer, as I said, increase the sattva gun inside. Now, how do you increase sattva gun? The answer is very simple. Increase those activities in your life which are in sattva guna. Yes. For example, there are many things. I will speak some of them here. Getting up early in the morning, before sunrise, preferably. And I am extremely delighted to hear so many people. Even yesterday, I was doing a consultation. That person told me that. I am able to get up early now because of you, because of your videos, because you always keep saying that get up early. So, Brahma Mahurat is very important. Yes, of course we may not be able to get up at that time, one and a half hours before sunrise, but make sure at least we get up thirty minutes before sunrise, and then we do meditation and spiritual practices when the sun is rising. At worst case, I am saying at least we should do that. So suppose the sunrise is at six o'clock now in India, maybe five thirty. I don't know what time it is. Um, in Germany, it's in six. So, if you are in Europe, then make sure you get up at at least five thirty, and then take a bath as soon as you get up. And when you how you should take bath in cold water. That is what is recommended. Taking bath in hot water is not recommended because that will reinstantiate the tamoguna which is there. Because cold water is considered to be in the mode of goodness. It is in satoguna. So. As soon as you get up, even if you are not feeling like cleaning your bowels, even if you are not feeling like that, take your brush, clean your mouth, and then you go and take a shower at least. Yes, in cold water. That is very, 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 very important. It it should not it need not be ice cold, okay? But it should not be lukewarm, or it should not be like, oh yeah, it's very nice, the hot, warm water. It should not be like that because then you are still in tamoguna because satoguna is not happening. Yes, then. The first thing is to get up early in the morning, then take a bath in cold water. If you have some bodily problem, that's separate. Now somebody may have some issues. I'm not going on that, but in general, I'm saying. Then the third thing is recite mantras, chant mantras, whatever your guru has suggested, or whatever should be done as per your horoscope, or whatever, whichever mantras you are doing. If you are in India, then it's most likely that you are already doing so many mantras. Yes. Then do those mantras. You must do it. Yes. Then the next thing we can do is number four, we can read the holy scriptures in the morning. Even if we read for five minutes, it is fantastic. I am telling you, you don't have to read one chapter of the Gita every day. I mean, if you can do that, that's perfect. I know people who do that, but at least one sloka from the Gita if you read, or if you are a Muslim watching this, then one uh, verse from the Quran, or even if you are a Christian, you can read one verse from the Bible. Yes. Oh, whichever religion you are, whichever tradition you are, just take out your your holy book, or any holy book which inspires you. Yes, then read one sloka from there because that is like power which is there inside you. Yes, because when you come in association with the divine vibration, then you are connected to the source energy, to God. Yes, then what to do? When you are uh, when you are taking bath, even at that time you can. Put on some audio of some bhajan or some Vishnu Sahasranam or something like that. Yes, you can do that also, or you can also be uh, chanting the name of Ram or Krishna. Even if you are taking bath, there is not a problem. Only Rishi mantra should not be uh, chanted when you are in the bathroom. Names of Lord Krishna or Lord Ram you can always chant. There is no problem. Even if you are in the bathroom, you can still do it. Or you can put some lecture. So many lectures are there these days. Yes, online forums. So many people are giving so many lectures. You can hear the lectures of your gurus. Yes. Then what to do? Then after you uh, take bath and you come out, then do the mantras and then read one verse from these scriptures every day. Make sure you read one verse at least. That will have a big impact. I am saying. Yes. Then comes the day activities. Yes. Then always wear fresh clothes. Should I repeat? Always wear fresh clothes. Do not wear that cloth which you had uh, in your body yesterday. Yes, because that is tainted with tamoguna. Yes. So because of that, if you wear because that is in tamoguna, your tamoguna will be reinstantiated. Yes. 
and then wear fresh clothes clean clothes which you have, which you you have washed so that will increase the sattva guna in your body yes and then after that you can also uh, apply chandan or you can also apply tilak in your body that will also reinstantiate the sattva guna which is there and then comes food do not eat food which you made yesterday or two days back or do not eat processed food and then what happens is your sattva gun will naturally be high fresh food freshly cooked food you you should eat now again depending on your schedule and your time and your company these things have to be modified as per time place circumstances but understand the principle okay and then when you are going to the company or to the school or to the college or to your office <laughs> wherever you are a businessman or something then instead of hearing newspapers or bollywood songs in the morning put on some kirtan anything it can be hanuman chalisa or ram charit manas or whatever it is whichever language you are or vishnu sahasranam is perfect especially if you are a lady and you are planning to get married this is fantastic for you just uh, type ms subulakshmi in youtube and you can download the vishnu sahasranam yes that you can uh, uh, it will start like this shuklam baladharam vishnum shashi varanam chatur bhujam prasanna varanam dhyayet sarva vigno pachantayet or you can put on the brahma samita venum kananta maravinda dalaya taksham varahavatam samasitam buddha sundarangam lakshmi sahastra sata sambam sevyamanam goloka eva nijadhamni nivasireka गोविंदमादिपुरुषं तमहं भजामि यस्य सदा सकलेन्द्रिय वृत्ति मन्ति आई कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन राइट और द हनुमान चालीसा और समथिंग टू डू विद लॉर्ड शिवा और सम व्हाटएवर व्हाटएवर आई मीन द सो मेनी गॉड्स इन इंडिया मैन सम सम गॉड विल डेफिनेटली क्लिक यस इट कैन बी गणेश और व्हाटएवर आई मीन व्हिच एवर इज कंफर्टेबल यू कैन डू दैट if you do not like to do the vishnu sahasranam or the brahma samhita or whatever yes and then you can also uh, put the pdf of the shrimad bhagavatam or the bhagavad gita and when you are going in the bus you can also read them yes instead of uh, staring at uh, okay which is the girl which has come to the uh, bus yes who is that handsome hunk dude who has entered instead of doing all those nonsense you can just take the pdf and you can read yes and then what you do then when you go to the company yes now that is very challenging this is where the game begins so now when you go to the company you have to find people who are not indulging in unnecessary have unnecessary things yes so if you know somebody who is into alcohol or somebody who is smoking or somebody who is indulging in things like illicit sex then please refrain from taking their association do not sit with them you can stay with them officially you can have a cordial relationship but if they are telling you my dear sir that's there's a party tonight would you like to come have the courage to say no just tell them no 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 because see the scripture say you cannot say that you will touch water and you will not get wet should i repeat if you touch water you will get wet so if you are doing all these things in the morning getting up early taking a bath in cold water taking a uh, wearing fresh clothes chanting mantras yes doing meditation reading the scriptures like the bhagavatam hearing vishnu sahasranam and then if you go to party in the night it is not going to happen <laughs> once in a blue moon is okay once in a blue moon means suppose there's some uh marriage party or there is some uh birthday party where you go where family members are there yes especially parents are there especially in places like india then there are very less chances that they will drink alcohol there yes i mean of course unfortunately there are many places in india where they also do all these things yes quote and quote modern families these days <laughs> mother father is sitting the father and the son is enjoying alcohol together that's horrendous actually that's like anyways change the topic so refrain from indulging in things related to the night okay because the night time is in tamaguna rahu is very powerful there yes kaliraj is also extremely powerful so as soon as it is 9:30 or it is 10 o'clock try to go to sleep and the moment you go home suppose you are working in an it company or whichever field you are the moment you go home 
yes after working in the office don't just go and on the tv this is very this is very bad i have seen people my family members also my relatives everybody the moment they are inside they will turn on the tv yes then what happens all the garbage is flowing inside so then the question is if you don't see tv what should you do focus on doing something good focus on creating a life focus on building a life yes like for example take my case when i come from uh, the library after finishing my studies i come and i make videos here for people like you to watch and for people like me to listen <laughs> okay i am writing the book yes two books i am writing i have started writing i am writing those things i am doing other meditation i am reading the scriptures all those things so if i can do anybody can do it yes i don't go on grazing oh what's happening in game of thrones what's happening big boss what is happening to shahrukh khan what is happening to sunil shetty what happened to shri devi how did she die shri devi passed somebody told me yes of course that doesn't mean that you should not see news but you can see news but at a glance you can check but if you go on grazing unnecessarily on topics like uh, that day i was seeing a video which youtube recommended to me i don't know why it recommended uh th- this actress was there katrina kaif i mean she's still living <laughs> so in the video it was there katrina kaif's body hair spotted so they were showing her photo and they were zooming in one particular part of her body i will not take the name and they were showing oh she has hairs in this area of her body yes and suddenly uh, human beings discovered that uh, ladies can also have hair in that part yes anyway so <laughs> these are such useless things which are going on in the media so and then at night 9 o'clock all those debates yes in tv channels oh will india and pakistan have a war what is going on yes which is better bjp is better or congress is better who is going to start the world war donald trump is going to start or vladimir putin is going to start yes or what was that king jong jung <laughs> <laughs> north korea south korea they are going to start yes i mean even if they are going to start the war how how is it going to affect you i mean can you stop if donald trump decides to start a war tomorrow can you stop him the answer is no you can't stop so what will you do by seeing unnecessary things which anyways you have no control over yes so the, the other day i was seeing uh, some, some video somebody had sent me that oh there is this comedy show stand up comedy is going on yes that's so superficial just laughing like ha 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 <laughs> artificially laughing creating artificial stories and imagination see people have so much time to waste instead of doing all this let's do something good let us find what we should be doing in our life and let us create a life of fulfillment by which we can leave a legacy when we depart from this world yes anything it can be whichever that whichever is the thing which excites us whichever thing we want to do in this world yes so let us focus on doing that rather than doing all these unnecessary things in the evening grazing on mcdonald's snacks and all these things so the first things i told you was in the morning morning time is very important that is the time where you have to take all the input yes all the positive things have to be done in the morning and then during the course of the day your spiritual power will reduce like this you will meet you will meet your friend she will be talking oh i had a breakup with my boyfriend yes then you will see your friend she uh, he will talk he will tell to you oh you know uh, i am planning to go with my girlfriend to lonavala khandala we'll have a good time there we'll enjoy we will do this we will do that yes they, they will say all these things oh we are going to goa go go <laughs> so all these things you will be hearing yes and then that will reduce your power that will degrade your consciousness but you have to ensure that the sadhana which you are doing in the morning and the day daily activities like eating proper food yes sattva gun that has to be strong enough that even when they try to pull you down they cannot take you below zero <laughs> okay so when you come home you should be like nil you have no positivity all the garbage is inside you throughout the day throughout the office but you should have still some amount of strength through which you can carry just just sustain <laughs> yes it's like 
you 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 eat that much by which you can sustain throughout the day yes and then when you come in the night again you put on some kirtan some bhajan some lecture again you read one shloka yes or you focus on your life purpose what you want to do if you want to share something open a channel in the channel in youtube give one uh, video every day now i have got around 5000 subscribers if i can get why can't you get there are people having million subscribers yes make sure you upload a video every day or you upload a video every week or every month whatever is comfortable for you yes accordingly so when you do all those things and you increase sattva guna and you reduce the modes of passion and ignorance yes so by 9:30 10 o'clock light should be off if you are a parent make sure that you do this because lord krishna says in the gita that what was that shloka i forgot i'm forgetting the shlokas lord krishna says that uh great personalities their actions are imitated by the public yes i will remember the shloka i guess <laughs> so uh, krishna says there that whatever great personalities do the uh, their subordinates will follow so if you are a father or a mother and you yourself are grazing on sas bahu serial still night 2 o'clock and you expect your son or daughter will not watch game of thrones it is not going to happen okay so if you are a parent you have to set the example because in shrimad bhagavatam it is said guru na sasyat pita na sasyat janani na sasyat na devo na patim cha this long shloka is there <laughs> one doesn't have the right to be a guru a mother a father a husband yes anybody anyone who is senior in a authority position if you cannot deliver them from birth and death so if you are a father or if you are a mother if you want that your son or daughter stops smoking cigarettes you have to be the first one who have to inspire them by their by your own example yes and when you do that they will be inspired to follow because the trait of children is they naturally try to imitate their parents yes so it is your duty that you ensure that your children do good things and that will only happen when you yourself are doing good things yes if you are sitting and discussing with your friend in a kitty party oh how terrible your mother in law is or how terrible your daughter in law is then your children are going to do the same thing <laughs> okay so help yourself protect yourself and then also help others yes i still can't remember the shloka <laughs> damn <laughs> all right so that's what i wanted to say it's a very long video it has become so these are the ways by which you uh, take care of the bad habits decrease rajogun and tamogun and increase the sattva gun inside yes so for that morning activities are very crucial and then throughout the day you have to ensure that you are maintaining sufficient distance from those people who are doing gossip or talking about unnecessary things indulging in sinful habits and then whenever you get time you are in the bus or in the train or in the aeroplane or you are walking do not stay idle always put something in your ears yes in delete all the bollywood songs yes 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 delete all the songs they are not going to give you anything in life they have not given you anything from the last 50 years that you are living in this planet and till the last moment that you live and you die the bollywood hollywood songs are not going to give you anything yes so delete all the songs which you have insert lectures of gurus insert bhajans insert shlokas yes brahma samhita my god should i say again <laughs> oh no no that's it <laughs> so you insert all those things and then no time should be idle and the moment you reach home start doing things that you love yes you want to open a channel youtube you you are expert in guitar do it you want to write a book start it man do something otherwise idle mind is a devil's workshop it will not let you stay peaceful it will rip the hell up out of you yes so do not give the mind a chance to give you distress yes and then life will one day become bit better <laughs> yes and always deny invitations which are in the night yes or where there are sinful things which are going on the yogi is very calm the yogi is very cautious the yogi understands that this will not give me fulfillment in the long run so the yogi even if he doesn't warn the yogi will still say no so learn to say no because if you do not say no then they will keep dragging you like for example my friends 
they always used to drag me but now my school friends they will go to goa and they will party they will not call me <laughs> i'm like an outcast in my school group now because they know even if they call me i will not come <laughs> so i'm very thankful to god that they also don't call me and then i also don't have to make stories yes oh no no i actually can't come now this problem is there that problem is enough of the stories no more stories directly i say no i'm not going to come there you are going to waste time drinking alcohol and you will bring 10 20 girls there na and then all those things anyways change the topic <laughs> all right so that is it from my side these are the ways how we, uh, you can control the bad habits so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you want to know somebody who is trying to control bad habits then please direct them to this video and i will make the next part to this video okay uh, so stay tuned okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you